In the previous lesson, we talked about checking your video card's ability to withstand overclocking. If you have succeeded in the experiment, then you may find this part interesting as well. Now let's examine the video card components. First of all, you should pay attention to the GPU, Graphics Processing Unit, which processes computer graphics and performs other essential tasks. Then, there is memory, which saves all data for later processing. These two elements are to be overclocked. Frequency is the main way to overclock. The higher the frequency, the more operations per second the CPU and memory perform. You may increase it as far as you like, but the upper number is limited by the cooling system and power subsystem. Another way to overclock is voltage. It's regulated by the power system. Don't worry, no lectures on physics. But let me just remind you that the higher number of phases means better stability. And stability is the way to better performance and increasing the limits of maximum voltage. Well that's all you need to know before you go overclocking. Now let's get acquainted with the overclocking tool, MSI Afterburner. This easy to use program will help you to change the video card settings and more. However, its supreme purpose is overclocking. Almost every type of video card is supported, although the program is best suited to work with MSI video cards as it unleashes their true potential. The program is based on a once rather popular utility, Riva Tuner. Overclocking isn't its only function. It is also able to monitor video card settings and make screenshots in video recordings. There are also applications for Android and iOS mobile platforms, which can make overclocking easier and handier. This and more you can learn in our next lesson.